Hi, welcome to another episode of Practical with Selena. Today, we are going to do 2013 GCE O Level Practical Examination. So, are you ready? Let's begin the two step preparation and execution. So, let's start preparing. First of all, let's remove the clutter. Bring the reagent to one side. All right, let's begin reading. You're provided with two labor sample of salt X, two labor sample of salt X here, one in a large stopper hard glass test tube, and another in an open test tube. So this is salt, both are salt X here. So let me rearrange the position of the test tube. Carry out the following experiment. Record your observation. You should test for any gases evolved. And the volumes given below are approximate and should be estimated rather than measured. Part A. Place about 3 cm cube of lime water in a clean test tube. Lime water is actually calcium hydroxide. Let me put it over here right in front. Let me do the marking. It says here, add about 3 cm cube. 3 cm cube estimated is around here. And I label it as A. And this is lime water. Let me write down lime water. Let me put this here. Remove the stopper from the hard glass boiling tube label sort X, which is here. Heat this boiling tube gently and then more strongly under no further changes are seen. You may see some condensation forming in the inside of the boiling tube initially. Well, the question just says that we are given the lime water, but the question did not say what are you going to do with the lime water. But previously, in the opening, they already say that we should test for any gases evolved, which means that you with this lime water, I am supposed to test for carbon dioxide. Now, if we look over here at our practical notes, you can see here, lime water is used to test for CO2. Let's move on. It continues on to say that allow the boiling tube in part A, which is this part, to cool for use in part C. Perform part B while you are waiting. Soak the end of a wooden splint, this is the wooden splint here, with water. And dip the wet end of the splint into the second sample of salt X. In order for this to dab it in water, let me fill one empty test tube with some distilled water. And let me label this distilled water. Put my splint inside. Adjust the Bunsen burner to give a blue flame. Bunsen burner over at this part. And place the wet end of the splint in the flame. Part C. Add the contents of the large glass test tube label uh, acid Y to the cool test tube. This is acid Y here to the cool hard glass test tube, which is this one from part A. Thoroughly really mix the content and transfer them to a 100 cm cube of beaker. This is a 100 cm cube of beaker. Gently heat the mixture and do, do not, until no further changes are seen. Do not allow it to boil. The liquid in this beaker is solution Z. So let me label the beaker as solution Z. Part D. Place about 2 cm cube of solution Z in a clean test tube. This is part D. 2 cm cube Z. And place 3 pieces of magnesium ribbon into this test tube. And you will need to observe this test tube for a few minutes. Well, later on, I'm going to place some magnesium strip inside. So let me place it here first. Part E. Place about 1 cm cube right now, 1 cm cube of Z in a clean test tube. And add about another 1 cm cube of dilute nitrate acid followed by another 1 cm cube of barium nitrate. Barium nitrate and nitrate acid. And another. Oh, that's all. Okay, let's move on. Place another 1 cm cube of solution Z. Part F. 
1 cm cube of Z in a clean test tube. Add aqueous ammonia slowly with shaking until no further changes are seen. So 1 cm cube and aqueous ammonia. And part G now. Part G says here, place about 1 cm cube of solution Z in a clean test tube. Add one spatula load of solid sodium chloride and insert a rubber bath and shake the test tube thoroughly to dissolve the solid. For another test tube, I have to add another 1 cm cube of solution Z. One cm cube of solution Z. And I have to add one spatula full of sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is here. So let me place it all right in front of me. Okay. And add water until the test tube is over half full. Mix the content of the test tube thoroughly. Part H says that we are supposed to suggest an identity for acid Y. Give evidence to support the suggestion. And the last portion, I'm supposed to give two further conclusions about the ions and gases involved in this reaction. I finished my pre preparation.